Nothing? Yeah, I called 911. This is a Dallas police officer in plain clothes. He seemed to be doing some unusual. I can. Throwing grass, walking around, talking to himself. In the backyard what? of the police academy. What are you talking about? Acting as a man experiencing uh, psychosis. It just looks abnormal to me. This is just for training purposes. It's not real. But this type of thing happens really often. Three, four, ten or the so. Dallas Police Department's receiving an overwhelming number of mental health related 911 calls, more than ever before. And as a result, officers can't get to high priority violent crime calls as soon as they'd like to. We need to do a better job of getting to the uh, crimes that are in action and where people's lives or property are in immediate danger. So now the training is changing. If a passerby calls 911 about a man experiencing psychosis, quit banging on the wall. Or if a caregiver calls for help with an autistic child, police will still respond, but with the immediate help of the city's crisis intervention team, who you see training now with officers. There are civilians trained to de-escalate and assist in low-risk social services situations. That's good, that's good. What's going on, what's the problem today, sir? Once officers are sure it's safe, the civilian crisis team will take over. Is there any type of thing that you need assistance with? The goal, to free up officers to get them where they need to be and get the people of Dallas the help they need. If the city approves its proposed budget, the crisis intervention team will get more funding and continue to grow. In Dallas, I'm Sydney Persing.